there's a lot of credit given to the uh, need for humanity to create order where there's chaos and to overcome nature. And I think it's unfortunate because I think what that's done, it's created this alienation between us as humans and the natural environment, considering it more of something to be overcome or something to, to control and to put into such order that it doesn't make us uncomfortable. And I think that's a real shame because I think we're losing out on what our true nature is. We live from the sun, the energy of the sun, through the plants and the animals and up the food chain to ourselves. And we breathe this air that we need to protect. We drink this water that, that's behind me. And we tend to not give enough respect to it these days because we fear it. We have been told that it's something to conquer to uh, control nature, to eliminate the predators, eliminate the risks out there. And it's un unfortunate because we end up destroying our planet, destroying our, our home, destroying our fresh water, our clean air, you know, our atmosphere. We disrespect our forests. We clear cut and we organize them and we reduce diversity. This globalization has created this sort of monoculture. Get everything from values to behaviors to places that we live. and the ways we interact with one another and with nature, it's becoming homogenized. And that's unfortunate because we need that diversity, not just spiritually, but physically. You know, I'm fortunate to live in a country and in a province where we still have access to, to a lot of nature, to these lakes and rivers and, and forests and fields and all these things that we can interact with. But I know that's not the case everywhere. In fact, it's dwindling everywhere, including here. It, uh, it's becoming more and more difficult to access these areas and especially to preserve them in their natural state so that we're able to enjoy what um, the, that diversity and breathe that fresh air. The silence is another thing that I've never really talked much about, but part of why we chose this property is that we found that it was on a dead end road with only a couple of other permanent residents and then surrounded by nothing but public land that's undeveloped and real wilderness, I'm talking not just a parkland. So these areas are very, very silent, especially at certain times of the year, like in the winter. There is no sound other than what you hear from nature. I don't think we realize that we there's this underlying stress, this anxiety created by the, the constant noise that's out there that fills our ears and fills the air with the vibrations of those noises. To get out into nature and to experience real silence or real just natural sounds it is unbelievably stress relieving and that's unfortunate not everybody can experience that i hope everybody i hope every one of you can experience that that someday at, at uh, some point in your life and if you can make it a habit if you can make it a lifestyle even better but um yeah you know, like i said i i realize i'm fortunate to live where i am and i'm fortunate I guess that I've been able to find my passion and I able to to make this the focus of my life to make this the top priority you know when I say top priority that's no no slight to my family because they understand that in order for me to be a good father and a good husband and a good brother and a good son I need to be healthy and happy so this is what I do this is what I do to find my nature
those snow deer. Uh, <laughs> it's not actually. <laughs> Like that one? Yeah. You're never gonna invite me over, so <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> fight it yourself, like Scott did. <laughs> <laughs> 